I was just coming out and playing hard the second half. We started out a little slow in the first half. So. Okay, um, Daquan, did the 3-0 tournament sweep that y'all just came off of, did that help kind of with the confidence? Yeah, it gave us a little motivation coming to these next few, few games we have this weekend. It gave us a lot of confidence. Um, it feels really good because I know, kind of relating it back to my freshman year of high school, like the key to next year was just being consistent with the playing time that I got. Like, if I'm going to play consistent minutes, then I need to be given consistent production. So it just feels good to be able to. You know, rebound. I feel like I could rebound better, but it feels good to be able to rebound and you know block shots and everything at a consistent level. Because I know the offense will come. You just you just have to find your rhythm. So. What are y'all looking to do on Saturday? I know it's really broad. Um, we're looking to go six and one. I don't know. I mean, I bet Coach will talk about it coming up in his interview. But it. He told us last year that you know it's really rare for one of his teams with the non-conference schedule we play to enter in the conference play, you know, two or three games above 500. But right now, I think we have a really, really good chance to do that. And even, you know, maybe shock some people when we play some of these bigger schools. But hopefully, we can beat Detroit and just keep rolling along and, you know, piling up victories. Question for both of you. Uh, what do you do with the holiday coming up? How do you, you know, stay focused with the season, kind of gain momentum, but you still want to enjoy the holiday? I would say, Probably just stay focused, and um, it's always good to get a break, not too long of a break, but you know, just take a day off. We're gonna go to Coach Sean's house probably and eat, and then um, we'll just have practice on Friday. So it's good to take a break, rest our bodies, but we know at the same time that we have to stay focused throughout the entire season during Christmas, Thanksgiving, or whatever breaks we get. And like he said, just taking time off, resting the bodies, and mostly watching film from these previous games. Well, <clears throat> I enjoyed the uh, second half much more than the first half. And uh, my dad used to s tell guys uh, in practice they were playing brother-in-law ball, which means, hey, you let me score, I'll let you score. And I think that's kind of how both teams played the first half. And I wasn't real pleased with uh, our defensive effort or intensity the first half, but uh, you know, challenged them to halftime. You know, one thing we talked about was those guys who get to play a lot. I mean, the, the Obies, Aaron Andersons, the Jalens, who are going to play all year long, they owe it to guys like, um, you know, Isaac and Adam to go out there and play hard for them so they can get some minutes. And I, I thought the second half they went out there and, you know, jumped on and put them away. And I was really pleased that both Adam and Isaac was able to get in the game and both scored. And because uh, those guys work just as hard as everybody else on this team, and uh, they're just as big a part of every as everyone else, and uh, they deserve to be able to play in in the games that uh, you know we can afford to play them in. So I, I was happy that everybody got to play, everybody scored. Um, you know, we'll enjoy Thanksgiving a little bit more tomorrow, and we'll get back to work on Friday and get ready for a tough game Saturday. Coach Jeff Axon said in pregame that. Well, I told Jeff in the pregame show that you know, Chris uh, came to us and uh, he was unhappy uh, with his role uh, with playing time, and um, you know we, we talked it through. And we I think we felt like it was best for him to to move on and transfer, and um, you know disappointed that. Uh, uh, it didn't work out. Chris is a great young man, a great student. Um, he came right across the street from Victory, and uh, we, you know, obviously really wished it, it would have worked out. But you know, the bottom line is, if he's not happy with uh, playing time, not happy with his role, then you know he's not going to be. Period. He's not going to be happy. Period. And uh, he felt like he needed to go somewhere else. And you know, all we can do is wish him the best of luck, and that he finds uh, you know a place where he can play and, and be happy. Um. Jaden is also still out. Do we have any more 
He's getting better. You know, when he had first had surgery, it's been about two, almost been two weeks. I, I was really kind of hoping that he could be back for the Detroit game because the type of surgery he had normally uh, or typically it's a two to three week period. So two weeks would have been right at uh, I think Friday. Uh, but he's not quite there yet. So I, I'm hoping another week he'll be back on the floor and uh, uh, we need him back because you know, we're getting ready to face some teams again like South Carolina where you're going to face big athletic uh, uh, big men and you know, you know we need you know, we need as many big bodies and guys that can rebound and defend as we can get, and Javen certainly helps us there. Touching on the playing time, you see what kind of roles you see being carved out as a team on court? Did you expect it? Yeah, I mean, I mean, it t with with so many new guys, and and I said this from the very beginning. I, th I thought this was one of our deepest teams that we've had, and it takes a while to uh, to develop roles. To define, define roles, um, but I think it's taking shape. I mean, we've played awfully well. Guys have, uh, guys, for the most part, accepted the roles. Um, you know, the roles can change though. I mean, as these freshmen continue to get more and more experience, uh, you know, guys like Kmart, Chris Martin, and Daquan, both of them obviously had great games today. Both of them helped us win games last week in the tournament. Um, you know, they, they could see their roles expand and continue to get more and more minutes. Big game with Detroit on Saturday, went to overtime with them last year. They were not one of their best players, Paris Bass. Yeah. Uh, what do you expect to, from that team or the challenge in their face? We'll be a talented team. Detroit's, they've been good. Um, they'll be tough kids. They'll be, uh, they'll be athletes. Uh, you know, Bass, I, I'm not sure what his status is. If, you know, we've, we've tried to, um, you know, dig and see if we could find out if he's going to play or not. That, that, but it doesn't matter. I mean, they're going to be. They, they, they've they've shown so far. They've been you know they've been pretty good without him, and uh, with him, I'm sure they have a chance to be awfully good. So, you know, we're at home. Bottom line is, we have to protect our home floor. And um, uh, again, we'll give the guys off tomorrow and let them enjoy, uh, especially the, I mean, the guys that can make it home, enjoy uh, Thanksgiving with their families and get back here Friday. We need a good workout and get prepared and. Um, you know, we got a very challenging week next week, so we need to we need to go into next uh, week's two games six and one, and uh, and on you know quite the uh, winning streak, and, and with all the you know the momentum that we uh, you know hopefully we'll have, and because you know Albuquerque is a tough place to play, and then obviously Tulsa is a very good basketball team, and uh, you know we'll have to play great basketball next week.